Now we're told, And Noah builded an altar unto the Lord, and took of every clean beast, and of every clean fowl, and offered burnt offerings on the altar. Now do you see why he took seven of the clean beasts, and only two of the unclean? He's offering the clean beasts now. Verse 21, And the Lord smelled a sweet savor, and the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground any more for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. And you can just write that down, that that is true. What about your youth? Was your imagination evil or not? And we're beginning to see in our contemporary society we've had the rebellion of youth today. And isn't it interesting the direction they've gone? They've gone to the direction of where every imagination of man's heart's evil from his youth. And it doesn't improve. In the hospital the other night, I was visiting a party there, and then the person in the next bed, the curtain was pulled, but you could hear them talking. Her husband came in. And you know it was a contest between those two to see who could outcuss the other one. I've never heard such profanity on the part of two human beings. May I say to you, the imaginations of man's heart's evil from his youth. That just happens to be an accurate statement. It was made a long time ago also. Now he goes on. God says, Neither will I again smite any more everything living as I have done. While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. Now it has been suggested here that the flood was to the extent that it tilted the earth. As you know, the earth is not on its axis, actually not. We're off center, if you please. And the magnetic center is different from the center we're revolving on. Something happened somewhere along the line. It's the belief of many this is where it took place. And that's what makes what the Word of God says is the harvest and the coal and the seed time, the heat of summer and the cold of winter. That gives us our seasons. The earth revolves like that. It started going around like a wobbly top. You remember when you were young and would spin a top. When it had run down, it would get wobbly. Well, that's the way the earth revolves today, actually. And as a result, we have the seasons. We come now to chapter 9. And here you have the covenant, which began here in verse 20 of chapter 8, extends on down, and you're going to find out God makes a certain covenant with Noah and gives to him some tremendous things. Never again will God destroy the earth with a flood is one thing. Man now can eat flesh. That seems to be something new we'll see next time. And then you have also God institutes capital punishment. Best I can tell, God's never changed that. Now, we'll get to all of that next 